Let's talk about memory now. Very important part in chemical dependency. But we found out, and we've done studies on people's uh, memory processes there, uh, where the development happens. And they found out that people, kids who go drink heavily on a weekend, like on a Friday or Saturday night, get intoxicated, while this thing is developing, they lose 10% of their memory permanently. Okay? So this is, the brain has developed. So if you were getting drunk, if you had an IQ of 180 now, and you were getting drunk when you were 14, 15 years old, just imagine what, how smart you'd be today you know, with, the, with the memory you have. These are, these are facts, because the brain here, in the mid four brain bundle here, is where memory happens. But our memory is actually placed in the temporal lobe. But they've actually looked at drugs which could impair memory imprinting because you're in a blackout. When we look at toxicity, people get toxic from alcohol and narcotics. You don't have to be on alcohol to get a DUI. So there's other benzos that we talk, benzodiazepines. People can get toxic and lose their memory, right? When people have a 0 0.08 blood alcohol level, you can get a DUI, driving under the influence charge. A 0.16 is double that. So you're pretty drunk. A 0 0.240, right, you are very drunk. 0 0.50, right, 500 we call it, you have a 50% death rate from dying. I have seen a 720. Something happens here about two, 240, you know, 300, depends upon who you are, right? And then what happens is that you start forgetting things. This you remember, this you forget. This you remember, this you forget. <coughs> Depends upon your condition, your dehydration, how you feel, you know, your alertness, and everything else. So all of a sudden, you're not remembering things, and that's called fragmented memory.